The waterless wash. Now, I don't know if you've ever used anything like that before, um, but a lot of people are a bit dubious about waterless washes because obviously you're so used to washing it with your grit guard, your wash mitt, drying towel, stuff like that. Mm. If you've washed your car down, you're taking it to something like players, yeah, and you don't have access to water. This is the safest way of cleaning it. So a lot of people will go around with a detailer, yeah. Um, but what this does is lubricates the surface and makes it easier to clean. The safest way of using it is with two cloths because you don't want to be pushing around the same dirt. Yeah. So you want to use one to clean and the other one to buff because it will leave a wax residues behind. So just slowly, just wiping straight lines like that. Wipe in the opposite direction. That way you'll never get white lines. We've never polished this with a machine. Perfect. It's never, it's no, never, never been ever, ever polished. No. no. Cool. Never so, been polished with a machine. What we're going to use? Fine, we're, Steve. See that? We're not yeah. going to use any pro stuff. Mad, isn't it? Everything we use is going to be stuff you can buy from Halfords. So I'm going to start with our yellow pad. Now, if you feel that compared to a cutting pad, that's a lot softer. Yeah, yeah. Normally, people would go in with a cutting pad to remove soils and scratches, but until you know how hard a softer paint is there's no point going in with a hard pad because you might not need it. Right. So we're going with like a medium grade polishing pad. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is prime the pad. Now this is going to look quite drastic to start with. What I'm doing is getting plenty of product in there. Looks good, isn't it? I've never seen anyone put it on like that before. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I never... so it's like he's making the cake. Yeah, exactly. So and what I'm going to do, I'm going to feed it into the pad. And what this does, is make sure you haven't got any yeah. exposed dry. foam rubbing yeah, on the yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah. Dry, dry bit, exactly yeah. that, and we don't want to be using water or detailer as a lubricant because you're going to dilute the product. So you might as well use the product itself. Yeah. 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 So you only ever do that the once. That's prime now. That's done. So if you feel that now, it's just Damn. getting softer and yeah, slicker. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. going to keep it nice and cool. Every time I want to do a new section, all I'm going to do is put five little dots on there. Now, you can do you can do a happy face, you can do a sad face, you can do a cross, you can do whatever you want. I just like doing dots, it's just yeah. my kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Golden rules on machine polishing. Always oh, keep nice the cable thing. over your shoulder, yeah, that way yeah. it's not going to rub on yeah. paintwork. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And always, I mean, you guys have done such a good job of cleaning the car, I don't want to now splatter product everywhere. So always start and stop the machine on the panel. Yeah. That way you're not flinging product yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? I'm just going to stamp out where I want to work. Now, because we want to get rid of the swells and scratches, we want to keep our kind of area concentration quite small. Because if I give myself too much to do, yeah. nowhere's getting enough attention. Yeah, because we primed the pad, we also now want to prime the surface. So I'm going to set it to the slowest speed on the machine and spread the product. Like that. So how we prime the pad is exactly the same with priming the surface. Everywhere gets an equal share, yeah? Yeah. yeah? So you know I've been teaching you about the up and down, left and right. Exactly the same when machine polishing. Up and down, left and right, essentially creating a hashtag. So you just want to do two very slow passes, about an inch per second. Now you see people with like rotary polishers, they're going as fast as they yeah, physically yeah. can because it generates so much heat. Because a rotary polisher spins on a central axis like that, but a no, DA no, yeah. oscillates. So it's never really in one place at one time. So to start with, I'm going to go slap bang in the middle of that speed. Right. So I'm going to go in between 4.8 and 5.8. <laughs> as fast as you want to go. If I do that, it's not giving it time to work.
Well, I did phone him, he, he rang in the U. He said, when I spoke to him, he goes, oh, I'm going to pop up, I need to get me boot legged. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what he said to me. <laughs> but he only ever wants like, bits and bobs doing on it, so it's like patchwork car. Right, cool. So we're going to get a fresh towel, get it nice and folded. And again, take the head of the compound off with one side, and the other side. So if you now stand, go from that side to that side, see that we're reducing those cobwebs? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of them there, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They but if you if you stand here, Jim, yeah. and use that circular light there, and go from one half of the bonnet to the other. No, 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 no. See him in there. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. A lot of right? yeah, and because it's such a gentle compound, if after yeah. the first one it's good but it not amazing, well. you just go again. I'm using the ultimate wax. Right. It's a fully synthetic wax. If you had a solid colour, like a like a blue like your shirt, or a yellow or a red like the, you know the orange on the fort lift, yeah, yeah, yeah. for a solid colour, I always use canuba wax because it's naturally toffee coloured. So it gives a colour like the yellow or the red or the blue, okay. a real warm glow. But for a deep colour like yours, because synthetics are clear when they haze, <laughs> what it's going to do is magnify the fleck inside it. Just in half a turn, which is enough to do the whole bonnet. So you know how each step we've been priming? So we primed the pad, we primed the surface, we can do it yeah. again with the wax. So three little stripes, like that. And then just going to do tight circles over them stripes. Because what it's going to do, is as I'm going along, it's going to top up that pad so everywhere it gets an equal share of wax. And no pressure on that, no, just no, gently. Just nice and flat. So I'm going to use the ultimate detailer. So all we want to do is lightly over the paintwork, a real light mist like that. Like I say, the less product you use, the better it's going to work for you. As, as you can see, what it does, it settles on any wax that hasn't been taken off. That's yeah. why I missed it. So then, then it highlights it, so you can get that proper clinical finish. And again, like we've been doing every process, one way, flip the towel, other way. Just light pressure? That's it. Just let the towel do it. 